Welcome back to the channel, guys. So we're gonna start off with grinding and prepping our piece of apron right here. We're gonna be prepping this piece for welding it in here. So let's get to grinding and then we'll get to welding. On the new apron piece over there, there's all these spot welds that I need to drill out on top so that I can weld these two pieces together up there. So I'm going to look at this old piece as this is the old mangled piece and I'm going to see how many spot welds they had on this top piece so that I can make it OEM and factory and make it strong as it should be. Another thing I noticed when I received this new apron piece was this bracket right here is different than the bracket that came off the car. As you can see, it's it's almost the same, but there is this hole, this hole, and this hole, and this hole is for the fender to mount on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill out this old one, and then I'm gonna put this new one and weld it up to this piece right here so that it will have these holes, which is what it needs for the, for the fender. Now, if it didn't need this, if it didn't have these holes on here, it'd be fine, but I'm gonna have to do that anyway. So let's get to work. the new apron here already we got the old bracket off this one and i've just got to weld this new one in over here and then we'll let this piece down here and then i'm going to drill out where i made all these marks i'm going to drill holes which will then be open revealing this under piece which is where i'm going to weld in those holes connecting this piece to this piece
now with all of the holes drilled in the apron frame piece, I'm going to be using a 120 grit flap disc. And as you can see, this one is pretty worn out all on the edges. It's become pretty smooth. So I'm just gonna replace it with a new one and I'm gonna grind up that whole apron and also grind all this and make it nice and a good prepping surface for the welds. as battery on the grinder died. We have all the welds so far in, nice beads. Now I'm just waiting on that battery to charge and we'll be back here to grind all these down. And right here the fa in the factory, they grind this down on this right here. That's why they have these little things poking out. And they, they lay a bead right here, 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 and here which connects this back portion of the panel to the actual frame body itself. So we're just gonna wait on that battery and we'll catch you guys in a minute. With the majority of the welding done, now I'm going to be grinding down all of these welds and then we'll be done with this apron piece. But a note that I found while I was doing this was probably not to use these rubber clamps because when the metal gets hot, it literally just melts a, a hole and a chunk off of it. So next time I'll have to get more of these vice clamps and then it will make the job a lot easier. So let's get to grinding. So now everything is all grinded down. All of these spots are nice and flat. 
but I did not do a very good job on some of these. Some of these you can see there is a little bit of a gap on some of these, and especially on this edge here. I don't know what I did wrong, but the welds were not laying down very properly at all. I thought I had prepped enough, but if anyone knows what my problem was on that, please let me know, because I have no idea. Again, I'm very new to welding, and there's still a lot of spots here where there's some open gaps here and there. So I have some platinum filler that I'm gonna lightly body fill it that I'm gonna lightly put over these and then I'm gonna sand it down and make it super smooth because when the fender goes on this and you wanna take the fender off and you wanna see in the engine bay, you can see all of these spots and you don't want these little holes. So I'm gonna make it super nice and I'm gonna sand it down and then I'm gonna lay some paint over it and make it look really nice. the 3M Platinum Fit Body Filler that I'll be using to start with on all these spots here to make them super smooth. And then I'm going to be using this glaze coat over that body filler, which will finish it off, make it super smooth. Then I'm going to throw some base coat, which is the same paint color as this color right here that the car is. And then I have some clear coat over there that I can mist over this base coat to give it a nice shine. Before I do any of this, I'm going to clean the surface down with some nice wax. attempt with body filler was kind of a fail i put i think too much hardener in here and i did not apply it quick enough and all of this just hardened up and something really cool that i did not know was when this stuff reacts it gets really hot like this is really hot i feel it you feel it mm -hmm. yeah that stuff is really hot so that is something that's pretty cool but this is a total bust i gotta redo this because I didn't know it hardened this quick and I probably used too much hardener, so let's get back to it. Next day here guys, we're going to be slapping that air box right there 
and a radiator support bar that goes underneath the car there on. And we're gonna start piecing this front end back together. So let's get to work. with the way the front end is coming along. All the vents and everything is in place, all secure. Now, the next step is to slap the front radiator support on, and then that will tie this whole front together. So, let's get right to it. I can't wait to see how this thing looks with everything on. So now check that out. Look at that radiator support all in. The active shutter is in as well. Everything is looking really good. So now I'm going to start on that back portion by the windshield wipers and the windshield. I can put all that in, all that trim and the cowl. And then who knows, maybe we'll put the hood on and go for a test drive. Check that out now. The hood is officially on. 
all secured, everything is good to go. The only wires are hanging out there. And over here are the headlight and fog light. I'm just gonna tie those up. Or, I mean, I could put in the headlights while we go, but maybe, maybe not. So we'll see what happens. But let's get this thing ready for the road. car has been out of the garage it's just idling right there and i'm going to slap in the headlights just for safety as we just take it around the block see how this thing drives i cannot wait here we go maiden voyage don't get stranded too far from home it may seem like we're going slow but we're actually going 85 miles an hour it's just such a nice car you can't tell We've officially hit 15. This car is insane. <laughs> so low. Ooh. Got some kick to it. We're missing like an eighth of the car. Yeah, that helps. <laughs> yeah, it's a weight reduction. It's a little bit lighter. Just yeah. what I wanted. This thing is a little, a little to the right. Oh. Yeah. That is insane. <laughs> Alright, we just dropped, dropped my dad off. Now we're going to pick up little brother. Take him for a spin. Hop in, buddy. our little driving trip that was sweet i think my family liked it now we're going to talk about the other damages that need to be fixed i'm sure you can tell but right here there's a pretty deep gash in the a pillar i'll be welding this up re-grinding it all and repainting this as well as this mirror right here it got scraped up i'm going to be sanding this out and then repainting this as well it's just the mirror cover i don't really have to take off that much but i probably will end up taking the whole mirror out because right behind here there is a dent in the door and i have to access it from behind so i'm gonna have to take the whole door part access that from behind tap it out maybe use some body filler and i'm going to take this mirror off and finish this and get it all nice and i'm gonna have to repaint the door and this mirror and the big project will be taking this quarter panel off. As you can see, there's this pretty deep smush on the side. I'm going to be cutting it about here and it comes off just as uh, one piece down here, I believe. Maybe I need to trim this off as well or um, spot weld it out, but I'm going to be completely taking this whole quarter panel off because there's also a dent here. And I talked to a buddy of mine and he said that it would probably be best to just replace it. But for this small little thing here, I don't need to replace this. I can just weld this up. So that is the next big project for me. So I'm going to get right on it for you guys. 
I forgot to mention that I have right here in this box the whole front end which I will be slapping together and getting on here but I am waiting on a compressor and painting supplies so that I can paint that in because it does come unpainted but I also have that to work on and those two fenders back there which have a little dings and dents from when they were ripped off from the auction so that is also another project I can be working on on the front of this car.